Hey, it's me, Kezia, Wells Leading Female Pickup Coach, and I am here today with Eleanor. Eleanor is one of my best wing girls on the team. She's been with me now for over a year, and the feedback that she gets is incredible. Um, one of my trainers who is most in demand, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, and she specializes in day game and night game, and she gives a very, very honest insight to the female mind. Her feedback is always extremely honest. Her advice um, is always detailed, as I require with all the wing girls that are on my team. They have to be honest and they have to be very detailed with their feedback. Um, so, Eleanor, yep. I would like to, to pick your brains about a few things. I've had so many emails of people wanting to ask you questions also. So I've got a couple that are from students. Okay. Okay. The first one is you wrote a blog recently about the alpha male and it, it caused, um, it got a lot of attention, not a positive, but a lot of people were very curious about it. So okay. maybe you can um, go into a bit more detail. What is an alpha male for you? Okay. An alpha male for me is someone who um, is in control of the environment when they go and approach a woman, who's not scared of women, ultimately. Nowadays, women are strong and independent, and in some cases, men haven't caught up to that. They still regard women as being quite demure. Submissive. So, exactly. And that's not the case in today's society. So... Alpha men are men who have caught up with today's society. They're still in control of the situation. And the truth is that women, in some respects, still want to be dominated by men. Mm. Um, and the fear of rejection, for one, the fear of approaching women, um, is not attractive. So to be in control of a situation, to be strong, not necessarily physically, but mentally, per in their personality, in their emotions as well, all very important. So, for example, not being oversensitive. Oh, yeah. So, um, women can like to have a bit of banter with a man, and so often, so regularly, I find that men get offended by this in one way or another. So, um, they could um, do a puppy dog face, for example, or um, actually get offended and retaliate, retaliate with um, aggression. Aggression, yeah. yeah. Not attractive. They think they're sometimes off. alpha, don't they? If I'm aggressive, if I if I if I become aggressive her or I react aggressively, that's me being an alpha. But it's it's not. It just no. shows their weakness. Exactly. Doesn't it? it completely shows their weakness. I had a student recently who did that in a role play situation, and he reacted in a defensive way, and I stopped the role play there and then because that to me showed a weakness of emotion that they couldn't cope with the situation. So that's only a few aspects that, that sort of build an alpha male, but very, very vital and important ones. Basically, a man needs to be a man. It's, it's an old-fashioned yeah. um, saying, but it rings true. A man must be a man. I've, I, I believe that, and I think there's ways that we teach uh, guys what we mean when we say that. I mean, a man to be a man, there are certain techniques and skills that you can develop in order come across as more alpha yeah definitely I agree so it's more attractive to be alpha definitely definitely more attractive to be alpha and you just have to take a few no notches up because women have taken those notches yeah. up it's about keeping up with Evolving. the society Evolving. exactly great exactly. thank you for that no problem